take a look at the time when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people. They were in absolute confusion, but through revelation, confusion was removed. The same ingredient would apply today. If we are confused, it is through revelation that that confusion will be dealt with and it will be removed because that is the source of all knowledge. If you take a look at the Quran, it is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But one of the biggest problems we have today is the confusion that it is enough for us to recite the Quran. So now you have someone melodiously reciting the Quran, beautifully reading it. And if you were to ask them, my brother, do you know what it means? And they will tell you, that's not important. That's a big confusion. It's something that's wrong, totally incorrect, absolutely erroneous. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us cure from this disease. And this is why in the Quran, in so many places, Allah makes it very clear that this book has been revealed in order for you to ponder very deeply over its verses. How are you going to ponder over the verses of Allah very deeply when you haven't even bothered yourself to know the meanings of the same revelation that is there to remove your entire confusion? If I were to ask you, who is the knower of the unseen? Who is the one who is the owner of all knowledge? You would have to say Allah, my maker and yours. Allah is the one who is the owner of knowledge. He is the knower of the unseen completely. Nothing is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know this. Like in one place in the Quran, Allah says, وَفَوْقَ كُلِّ ذِي عِلْمٍ عَلِيمٍ In Surah Yusuf, Allah says, Above each person with knowledge is one who has more knowledge. In fact, you get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is known as Al-Alim, the owner of knowledge. But without contemplating over the verses of the Quran, we are not going to be able to even start to cure our confusion or our ignorance. And this is why Allah says in Surah Sad, Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyaddabbaru ayatihi wa liyatadhakkara ulul albab. A blessed book that we have revealed to you in order for you to contemplate or to ponder very deeply over its verses and in order for it to be a reminder for those with sound intellect or with sound mind. So if I would like a reminder, I need to first be reminded through what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has called the reminder. Now from this point, I would like to come across very strongly to one and all to say, my brothers and sisters, learn the Quran, learn the meaning of revelation. Do not be fooled by anyone, no matter where they are on the globe, who may tell you that, you know what? You don't need to go through the meanings of the Quran because your brain and your mind is so backward that you will be confused even more. That's what people are saying. I have come across people who say, the Quran is not for a layman. It is only for the knowledgeable. Wallahi, that is absolute drivel. It is nonsense. That is a statement that has no knowledge in it. It has more confusion in it than everything else. How can the Quran only be for an elite group of people? It is through the Quran that you will achieve knowledge. How then can you say they are knowledgeable people without that Quran? Allahu Akbar. It is through the Quran that you will become knowledgeable. So if the Quran was only for the knowledgeable, where did they, where would they have got it from? Doesn't make sense. So it is up to us to go through the book of Allah because what we find today, people fool us totally. I can give you one confusion that is really across the entire globe. You find Muslimin confusing culture with religion. 
big confusion. So when people do something, they don't really know, is this because I'm a Muslim or is it because of my culture? And I'm not just speaking of this country. I'm speaking of all over the world. We have the same problem. People do things in the name of religion when it has nothing to do with religion. I give you another example. When we get married, sometimes we make life so difficult for one another based on culture. But if we were to follow the religion, there is no confusion. It is as clear as crystal. You want to follow the deen of Allah, you realize you are only a Malaysian because Allah has chosen that. Not because you are supposed to be a person who looks down upon others. No, you might be proud of your identity, but not the wrong pride. Proud of your identity, meaning I'm happy to be whom Allah has made me. I am. But I do not look down upon others. I use it understanding why Allah has made it. Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu inna akramakum indallahi atqaakum O oh people, I have created you from a single male and female. And I have made you into different nations, different groups and tribes and different people in order that you may recognize one another. You may recognize one another. Today we have different complexions, different, you know, people with different uh, builds, perhaps, you know, if you come to Africa, perhaps in the western part of Africa, you'll find huge, tall people. As soon as you see someone, you can say, mashallah, he is from West Africa. Not because you want to look down upon them, na'udhu billah, but Allah has created this vast difference within the people so that we can respect one another recognize one another and i've always said if every one of us looked alike and we were all the same perhaps we would need number plates Allahu Akbar. <laughs> just like the motor vehicles all these toyotas look exactly the same how do i know it's mine because of some difference and ultimately even if the color is the same and the interior is the same and the spec is the same what would happen is we would recognize our vehicle by the number Allahu Akbar. but to make life interesting we are different people and we belong to different nations and we belong to different tribes this is all a plan of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make things interesting and for your information we have also become inclined within our hearts to different types of people you know some people think oh you see i'm a very bad looking person i'm not using the word ugly okay <laughs> very bad looking person why because you know my weight is 80 i'm supposed to only be weighing 60 okay do you know that some people may only be attracted to someone who weighs a lot? Subhanallah. So who told you that you are not good looking? Too much of television. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Too much of television. It confuses you. It makes you think I'm not good looking. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made every one of us unique. And we are the best looking we could be. It is our identity. I have spoken to some people who've become depressed after correctional operations within on their faces or bodies and they say i looked better with the small blunders that were on my face than i do now when i've tried to perfect my face through operation that's because you are confused you don't understand that identity is chosen by allah for you yes if there is something wrong if there is an illness or if you want to bring back something that is abnormal to normalcy then definitely it's permissible within the limits of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but today people are just playing with themselves they play you find someone normal looking person and after a while they look absolutely different what happened you know there is new technology it's known as plastic surgery brother you are totally confused plastic surgery you want to be a plastic person subhanallah you might melt in the sun <laughs> my brothers and sisters it's important for us to know this life is short it's not too long be happy with what allah has chosen for you like i've said if there is something wrong sometimes we do have a challenge regarding health it is part of our duty unto allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do whatever he has kept in our capacity to cure ourselves of that but remember one thing, 
we don't go beyond what is permissible from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So people become totally confused. We become upset. Why? Because we have not understood the message of Allah. That is the prime issue of confusion today amongst Muslims to start with.